there's a lot of controversy online every single time from software puts out a brand new game so i'm gonna weigh my two cents here on this exciting episode of ridiculous richie let's get into it What is good everybody, Richie here, and welcome back to the channel. Before we dive right into things, be sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you're somebody new, and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my shenanigans here on the channel. And yeah, it's time to weigh my two cents in. Topic of today, does Elden Ring need an easy mode? My answer is no, absolutely not. And this is coming from somebody who has only completed the original Dark Souls. I did play a little bit of Bloodborne, but I never completed it. Uh, same thing with Sekiro. Never completed the game. A friend of mine who is what I would consider a Souls veteran. has played all the Souls games. He's played every single game that has ever claim to be a Souls-like game, he's played them all. And anything you could possibly imagine that has a hard difficulty, my friend has played pretty much all of them. And I remember I was very wary to pick up Elden Ring. I mean, of course I went and got it, but I was very wary to pick it up because the last game that I played was Sekiro, and I was horrible at that game. So I, of course I was naturally very cautious to pick Elden Ring up. And there was one night in particular, he was like, man, bring your, bring your PlayStation 5 over, bring Elden Ring, let's play. And he was showing me the ropes. Showing me the ropes and helping me get comfortable as far as playing a Souls game. And I started to have a blast. And I'm going to sit here and tell you... the I, I don't necessarily think the game is about get good. There's... A lot of memes, you know, Souls memes, uh, Bloodborne memes, where it's everyone's like, how, how do I beat the game and it's get good? I believe that in the Souls games, there is an easy mode implanted into the game without having a difficulty slider when you first start up the game. And it's just a matter of are you brave enough to go and find the easy mode? When I first turned on Elden Ring, I was by myself, not with my friend. He wasn't showing me anything. I, I turned it on. I was just, I remember I got into the overworld. I, I stepped out into Limgrave and I, I said to myself, I know exactly what I'm getting myself into playing this game. I'm going to die. I'm going to get frustrated. I'm going to want to take it back. Um, I was a little frustrated at first playing Elden Ring. I was very, uh, I found a farming area and I started farming some souls and I went into this cave and I found a boss and I died almost immediately. Probably like, I, m I maybe survived the fight 60 seconds and then I, I died and I was just so mad. Um... But my friend showed me, you know, tri tricks and things and where to get magic spells and stuff like that. And as soon as I started getting some magic spells and I started getting stronger, uh, I started being able to just buff through uh, a fight. You know, there's giants that you could fight. <coughs> and I, uh, I was very, I, I was starting to have fun. And I think the whole point of Elden Ring is there is an easy mode in the game. You just have to go and search for it. Are you brave enough to go and search for it? And I also think, and I, I mean, this is just a theory that I have. I could be totally wrong. I want to say that uh, the guys from, from Software, some... Bosses just seem to have the artificial intelligence of of almost a, a player. Somebody who, like, if you play uh, PvP, it almost seems like the bosses, some of the bosses, have 
an unbelievable amount of intelligence and it's not you know it's artificial intelligence so but they can counter you they know what you're gonna do they you know and then other bosses i went up and straight uh, one-shotted I, I i only fought them one time and it's crazy to me that people think the game needs an easy mode after I've gotten so powerful and I I was able to defeat so many bosses and I'm I'm just sitting here some of the bosses I've one-shotted and some of the bosses I you know I had a difficult time fighting but I I'm ultimately I I won overall I I conquered the boss it's to me it's just a matter of I believe the easy mode is embedded into the game. You just have to you have to be willing to grind, you have to be willing to put forth the effort. I mean, yeah, of course, like just because I got some magic spells and I got more powerful that doesn't mean it made the game easier, you know? I still had to learn the mechanics, I still had to know when to dodge, I still had to remember to strategically watch the boss, see what type of moves that they were going to do. Um but ultimately, it made my playthrough experience so much better. I'm currently now sitting around 60 hours in the game, I believe. And I'm having such a good time. I've, I've defeated now, I think, over 12 bosses. Not, I'm not including like the invader, like the little, the little invader guys. I'm not really including them. So I'd say like somebody whose boss lifeline pops up. I've defeated over 12 bosses in the game. I want to say three or four of them gave me an absolute wreck hard time, but the other ones were relatively easy. I could see their move patterns, I could tell what they were going to do, and all I had to do was keep my wits about me, and I had to just focus and concentrate. I've also noticed this might, uh, if some of you have picked up Elden Ring and are having a difficult time, I have a tip for you of my own that seems to be working out in my favor. Whenever you know you are about to encounter a boss, turn the volume down on your TV, or if you have your headphones on, take them off. The boss, to me, becomes way less intimidating. Like, I love the music in Elden Ring, so I mean, I can still like hear the music, but I turn the volume way down because the music during the boss fight get your anxiety up. I can't tell you how many times I've went up against a boss in Elden Ring and as soon as the music started playing my heart was racing like I was about to have a heart attack and ever since I decided that I was going to turn the volume down I believe overall it's helped my my confidence um, severe, severely so that's just a little tip of my own. I've never if anybody else has ever said that, I, I don't know if they have. Like th that's just one of my own personal tips that I, um, that I I figured out on my own. Um, the music has a really good way of stressing you out. Same with the environment. If you can just kind of zone the environment out, for the most part, you do you don't really get too like I don't get too stressed when I go into a boss room. I see that, you know, I see that smoke screen and I, I step through on the other side and I'm just like okay here we go um, but ultimately I usually prevail and it's just a matter of me putting forth the effort and the time and grinding and getting souls and leveling up um, but yeah as I said I feel like the easy mode is inside the game already and it's a matter of most people are too scared or too they're too afraid to fail and it's like me in the game when it comes to playing Elden Ring I, I I don't mind failing a few times if I know that I can figure out the boss's pattern and I know that I can uh, try to come up with a strategy on how to take him out okay you know my my physical attacks aren't working let me throw some fire at him let me throw some other magic at him you know let me do what I can and see what happens um, 
But yeah, those are just my, my those are just a few of my opinions. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. And anyways, guys, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.